Guys, we're at CES 2024 right now, and I'm actually at the Lenovo suite here at the, in the wind off the show floor, but some exciting tech, as you can see right here, with all of my friends. But the biggest thing that I'm gonna have to say that's the most exciting part that I saw here is this. And I'm gonna have to read this just to make sure I get this right. This is the ThinkBook Plus Gen 5 hybrid solution. The word solution is because we're looking at an Android tablet and a Windows PC in one configuration. Of course, pen support as we've seen before. But the biggest thing I'll probably say is when you open it up, you're greeted with Windows. This is Windows 11, similar to the way you do. Touch interface, everything is great. But when you want to go and suddenly just, I don't want to use my Windows PC, I just want to watch Netflix and chill and just have fun. This is going to be your solution. A not only fully functional, but Android tablet on the go that can turn back into a Windows PC. Just by putting it back, connecting it directly into the system, and voila, you got that hybrid solution, baby. So what we're looking at here is the setup that they're showing us here at the, con at the conference here. The system itself, let's go ahead and bring this in. So I'm actually running in full screen. I'm gonna go F11, get out, I'm gonna minimize, I'm gonna close the actual window. This is Windows 11, exactly what you'd expect, running, giving us all the configuration that we want. From a configuration setup, as far as the setup, it's gonna be sold as a one-piece unit. We're looking at both the Android tablet and the Windows PC connected. It is running a Core 7, that's gonna be the configuration running Windows 11, and and of course, the Intel Arc GPU, 32 gigabytes of uh, RAM here, LPB DDR 5X, one terabyte of PCIe SSD. This is going to be the Gen 4 built-in. Two two watt speakers that's going to give us the audio from here. A 70 watt uh, watt battery here with a 100 watt power adapter connector to be able to charge it, and of course, provide power to the tablet. And I'm going to read you the specs here in a different way because there is actually an entire spec sheet just for the display. The last thing I'm going to talk about is we have two ports here for uh, basically Thunderbolt, four ports, one audio jack, of course, wireless, uh, you know, Wi-Fi 6E, and of course, the weight overall is about 970 grams. That's just for the base station. So this is if I do this and I separate the display, we're looking at just basically here at about 970 grams. And if you notice right here, you'll notice the display is still running because Windows can run by itself. It just does not have its own display for the Windows function, and that's where the tablet comes in when I put it back in. You make it sure that it's sitting at the 90 degree angle, snap it in, put it back, give it a second, and it'll automatically go back into that window configuration. Switching it over to the Android side, this is an Android tablet. Now, this is a really cool thing. I can actually switch over to window by holding the, pressing the star key on the keyboard, and that allows me to actually run dual systems, independent from each other, with the exception of the fact that the I.O. or the input me method, the keyboard and mouse, are only working on Android here and not connected to the monitor. So Windows basically stays static. You could put something in there that's playing. If you want to be able to use it. You can obviously pair like a Bluetooth mouse or something like that. But now we're running Android and Windows at the same time on the same system. If you are connected to power, what the cool part about it is, this power cord will provide power to the base station or basically the Windows component of it, and then fully charging the tablet itself. If you're running in battery mode, they run independent from each other. They'll give each other power, meaning the base will give to the monitor or the display here with the Android tablet power to run, but not to charge the battery to conserve the main battery here. As far as the tablet itself here, we are looking at Android 13. Let's go ahead and bring it back. It is This one is not connected to the internet. It's running uh, Android 13 with 8 plus Gen 1 as far as the processor, so Qualcomm processor in there. 12 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of internal, uh, it's basically uh, the storage that we have in here. We have full functional Android configuration in here. No word if this is gonna launch with 13, uh, stay on 13 the way we have it here, or go up to 14 by the time it becomes available in Q2 of 2024. Really nice. The display itself is a 14-inch 2.8K OLED panel, uh, 60 hertz refresh rate. We have four speakers positioned on this right and left side in here. 38-watt-hour 30 battery built in here, independent from the 75-watt-hour battery that we have built into the base. So really good, really cool configuration in here. And again, this is still a prototype. So this is not even available yet to the market, what we have there. Again, four-watt speakers. Front-facing camera is a full HD plus camera. We do have two cameras on the back. That's a 13 and a five megapixel cameras in there. One USB-C port available at the bottom of the base. So to remove it, you set it up 90 degrees to the actual keyboard, and then you just literally pull it out. You have the USB-C port that's positioned right here on the side. That's going to be for data and charging. No video output, unfortunately. The connector, the proprietary connector that we have in here is going to be working directly with the configuration here. So you put that in, you make sure that it snaps in at the 90 degree. And then once you go sideways, anything beyond the 90 degree to the keyboard, it actually becomes locked. So you cannot take it out and it makes it very nice and safe. You don't have to worry about that. 
Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5.3, again, about 785 uh, grams for the top part, and again, 970. Combined, you're looking at a basically a system that looks like a laptop. It's, it is a laptop for all intents and purposes. They don't currently share storage, although I think my understanding is by the time it's released, there's going to be a swap, for, uh, kind of like a swap folder between both systems that allows you to share window, it, well, content between Windows and Android wirelessly to each other. Meaning, if they're connected to the same Wi-Fi system, let's say at home, they can see each other and they'll be able to share content between the two. But in the current configuration, even though they are connected and they share I/O, they don't necessarily share data between each other. They need to be connected to a Wi-Fi or even a hotspot from your smartphone if you're traveling. But it's really nice. It's very simple. You look at it in this way. You can connect it directly on the USB-C port that we have on the left. We have exhaust air on the side. Intake is on the bottom. I'll let you see guys right here. And then, of course, we have uh, some button configurations on the side. A pen does magnetically connect to the back of the actual tablet. And, of course, everything runs the way you'd expect it. It's a little bit heavy. It's not a one-finger pull, but it definitely feels very solid. So what does this cost and when is it coming out? Or basically what, what we have right now. First and foremost, this configuration is going to be sold as one piece, meaning you are going to be getting the Android tablet and the Windows PC combined in one configuration. They're going to be combined together. And again, as I mentioned, the name is the ThinkBook Plus Gen 5 Hybrid Solution. So basically the station plus the tablet. Configuration in this current form, Windows 11, and then we have obviously Android 13. So that's the way we have it as it stands. Q2 is in intended to be basically the launch time, so sometime around end of Q2, maybe summertime. The price point is somewhere around 2K. It's not the cheapest option, but you have to consider what you're getting here. You're getting a very much a transformative experience that runs Windows and Android that goes with you wherever you want to go. The really cool thing that I was talking to the gentleman as they were giving us the briefing is, you don't actually have to take the Android tablet with you when you go out. You can literally leave the Android tablet, so here, separate piece, oops, I'll leave it in there, put it away, let, let that go, and then bring the Windows portion. Connect, let's say, some Lenovo glasses or any AR glasses in there, and you have a fully functional PC. Connect this to a monitor and use a USB, let's say, a Bluetooth mouse, and you have a disconnected PC. You can run this as an entire system. It has its own battery, its own storage, its own connectivity, everything that it runs, runs with the exception of the display. You have, the, obviously, the connector that's sitting over here at the top that's going to be the proprietary connector that runs with the tablet. But if you do, this is a solution. If you're on an airplane and they start talking to you guys and they're like, hey, please put away your laptops, you know, large tablets and of course phones are okay, you could do that. You're on the plane, you're like, oh, okay, I'm sorry, my computer is now a tablet, it's no longer a computer. So really exciting setup, really exciting configuration, really small form factor, and it really looks amazing. The build quality is absolutely kick-ass, and I'm really, I really look forward to be able to try this out actually on the go. As you can imagine, being able to run Android is one thing, but the also the ability of switching over, start doing Windows stuff on the go is really, really nice. So from CES 2024 at the Lenovo uh, booth here uh, in, in the wind, I want to say, hope you guys enjoy this. Let me know in the comments below, what do you think of this hybrid solution? This is bringing back a lot of old transformer configurations that I've worked with before. So I'm very excited. I hope you guys are as excited as I am. And I cannot wait to be able to get my hands on something like this to test out and share with you guys a full review on the channel. I'll see you in the next one.